Uh, my name is Victor O'Sullivan. I'm farming here with my brother John and my parents, John and Teresa. We milk 450 pedigree Holstein Friesian cows under the list of prefix. We run a split calving system where we're calving two thirds of the cows in the spring and one third of the cows in the autumn to fulfill winter milk contract with Dairy Gold Co-op. So we milk in two locations here in Whitechurch and our second farm is just outside the village of Blarney, approximately six miles from here. So the main focus of the farm is commercial milk production and you know the focus is on producing a lot of kilos of solids per cow um, at high constituents and a healthy cow in order to facilitate that. Second focus of the farm, we sell approximately 200 um, heifers every year, uh, a mix of milking, out, milking heifers and some in calf heifers. And that's also one of the main focuses of the farm in order to breed um, you know, an all round balanced heifer that um, farmers want to buy. Our herd EBI is um, 188. We've gradually increased that over the last number of years we would have a strong emphasis on increasing the milk sub-index, uh, particularly as we uh, would be a high output herd. We would be in the top 1% of milk sub-index in the country. So we'd like to see a nice balance in that with milk kilos and high constituents of fat and protein. So we started genotyping um, quite a number of years ago. The focus was to get the more reliable information on the stock we were breeding. So when a bull was mated with a cow and you had your calf arrived on the ground, up to that point, we were working off parent average or what the mother had done solely in order to estimate how good that young stock would be. But using genotyping, we have an extra layer of information. We have extra reliability on the information we have with every young animal. And by having a genotype, we have a more reliable prediction of how that animal is going to perform once they join the milking herd. That coupled with sex semen, is giving us great options as to how we want to breed our animals. Um, for instance, this spring we uh, bred uh, 200 maiden heifers, button calf, but it meant we had more information, we had more reliable information in order to make the mating with each animal, with a bull, to, to pick what we wanted to improve on. We've been in the National Genotyping Programme since its inception. Um, we have found it very good. Uh, once the calf is born, we tag that calf um, within a couple of hours before it's moved out of the calving house. And within a number of days, you're getting back all the information that uh, you need for that animal going forward. We are human and we make human errors. So sometimes there is uh, a mix up with what calf is out of what dam. But thanks to the genotyping, we have that corrected, um, you know, within a couple of days. And you know that all your information that you have on those animals from the parentage, the dam, the sire point of view, it's all correct. So uh, another focus in this farm, we flush uh, approximately 10 animals every year, five in the autumn, five in the spring, and they would be predominantly the younger animals. So again, using the genotyping information, we use that along with their pedigree information to pick the very top end animals from the herd. Uh, approximately three years ago, we had five bulls and five heifers born from the one flush. They all had the same parent average EBIs, but when we got the genomics back, their EBIs ranged from 224 all up the way up to 347. And these were five siblings that all had the same sire and the same dam. There was five bulls, five heifers, and there was a complete spread of EBIs in between. So we are fortunate enough that one of those bull calves went into AI and um, the other four bull calves, because we had good genetic information on them, they were an attractive animal for other breeders to buy to put in their herd. And we selected then from those five heifers that were born from that flush, we picked out the top genetic animal within that and we've, we have her flushed as well since. So we are again just adding to the genetic gain all because of the information we are getting from the genotyping program. We sell uh, a lot of heifers every year and most of them we would sell in our annual sale which we hold on the first Saturday of October every year. We would sell a mix of freshly calved autumn heifers and in calf heifers in the spring, which are all in calf to sex semen. And we would breed them from the very best of our herd. And again, that genetic and in that genomic information provides us with the more accurate information and in knowing how to breed them. Um, it's important for us that we have satisfied customers, whether they're buying heifers or the calves that those heifers produce, 
that they're getting some of the best genetics that we can potentially provide.